Cat Williams, Cat Williams, Cat Williams. <laughs> Cat, Cat, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Family, welcome those of us who are on this side of the dirt. God bless you. I'm glad to be here, and I hope you are too. But we must talk about our brother, Cat Williams, because, you know, Cat don't hold no, it's no holes barred with him. So he done renewed this claim that Cedric the Entertainer stole, allegedly stole jokes from him. Now, this ain't the first time I done heard about said and a whole and a few other ones still in jokes you know which for a comedian is is messed up you know just like if you a singer uh, musician a lot of people laugh when I tell them that um I'm the writer of busting loose and it was stolen um, out of Brunswick Studios <laughs> Chicago um, or Kurt time one of them I just know I learned at an early age not to expose music, stuff you're working on in the, in the environment with other musicians. And so it must be even harder for a comedian because, you know, it's different in show business. When they go to it from town to town and they try to keep a fresh joke, and you got other people still in the joke. You can't. That's that's a little difficult. You 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 have some ill feelings behind that. Anyway, the fifty-two-year-old comedian, while appearing on the club Shay Shay, if y'all haven't seen that podcast, uh, <laughs> he 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 just told it all from Cedric, Steve Harvey, uh, Ricky Smiley. Oh my God. And somehow we trust Cat Williams. I trust him. That's for damn sure. Anyway, not just because he a Midwestern boy. I trust him. Okay? Because he's done some things outside the loop to let me know where he stands. Okay. But the 52-year-old comedian, while appearing on the Club Shay Shay podcast with the whole Shannon Sharp, on Wednesday responded uh, to Cedric 59 denying it. He thought I was just a no-name comedian that he could take this joke and nobody would know. Two years later, he was doing uh, that as his last joke on the Kings of Comedy, and he's doing it verbatim. He just changed my car into a spaceship. That's all. Um... Cat Williams renewed his claim, and um, the comedian said, the 52-year-old comedian said that he's sick of them, and that's what they do. He thought, I, w you know, again, he thought that I wasn't nobody, just a no-namer, and he would take my joke, and it would never uh, resurface, but that's not what happened. Show sure isn't. Oh, wow. Um, the issue was that I had already done this particular joke on BET's Comic View twice. It had done so well on BET's Comic View that they made it part of the commercial, Williams added. He continued, this is not just a random joke. This is my best joke, and it's my last joke, and it's my closing joke. In 1998, I'm doing this joke. Cedric comes to the comedy store. He watches me in the audience. He comes backstage. He tells me what a great job I did and how much he loves the joke. Two years later, he's doing the damn joke. And it's the last joke on the original Kings of Comedy. And that's, he's doing it verbatim. He just changed my car into a spaceship. Oh, man. <laughs> he ain't going to let it go. 
Cedric responded in the comments section of an Instagram post by Club Shay Shay featuring an excerpt of the interview. Revisionist history, regardless of whatever cat's opinion, my career can't be reduced to one joke uh, that Cat Williams claims is his. I've been over 40 movies. My specials, my brand speaks volumes for who I am. The PPL um, I have put on, including Cat in the Hat <laughs> at the Gibson Theater, he posted. Uh, Cedric, during a November 22nd appearance, I mean November 2022 appearance at Club Shay Shay, denied he stole the joke. He said, that's just ridiculous. I seen Cat 30 times and he didn't say nothing. All that was some internet shit. I responded to him. He didn't respond to me. So I left it at that. Cat, during his podcast interview, claimed that Cedric and Steve Harvey, a fellow King of Comedy member, previously had apologized, so he gave them a pass for, for a decade. He said he was sickened when said denied stealing the joke on club uh, during his club Shay Shay show. Why would you downplay me like that? Why would I give you a pass if you was just going to lie, Williams said. Um, it's interesting. Williams also questioned Cedric's ability to write jokes. He did four comedy specials. They're so bad, Shannon. They're off. They're not on Netflix or Tubi. <laughs> Cedric, as a stand-up comedian, traveled the country as one of the kings of comedy headliners, along with Steve Harvey, D. L. Hughley, and Bernie Mac. The act was made into a stand-up comedy film by Spike Lee entitled The Three Kings, The Kings of Comedy. And, you know, and here's what's interesting when you talk about show business. This is just from my perspective. I know a lot of comedians, a lot of female comedians. I know some that are very great. Uh, and you wonder why they haven't achieved a lot of the success that some have. Because it's a certain game you got to play if you're going to be in Hollywood. I learned that at an early age. You are not going to um, be blessed, I should say, if you don't honor a certain code. And you have to be out of your mind, really, to think that that's not part of the, uh, of the shtick. There's a few comedians that are outside of the realm of Hollywood. And, you know, you got comedians like Corey Holcomb, you know, who are funny as hell. Um, there are some things they say they go too far like everybody, like we all do. But what I'm saying is there are certain comedians that don't fit in that Hollywood bubble, just like there are certain artists that don't fit musicians um and they're only going to achieve a certain amount of success and they don't they're not going to have the machine behind them and that's just the difference it's got nothing to do with talent the machine is going to get by people uh, are going to get behind people they going they can manipulate and that doesn't happen when you find a real one so you know <laughs> that's what i say about cat williams Cat Williams came out telling the truth, going beyond the scope of what Hollywood likes in terms of describing their behavior, what goes on, and every damn thing else. So he wouldn't be a favorite son of them. That's why, you know, you know he's in a lot of movies. Don't get me wrong, because he's funny. But the independent uh, players that made the movies, they... He came in, he did his part so strong. I mean, he can't be denied. But at the end of the day, he's not inside that that bubble. He doesn't have the machine behind him. So, 
you know, you got to realize that when Cat opened up his mouth, he's speaking from a different perspective, like Dave Chappelle. You know, certain people, you know, they, um, uh uh-uh. They've gotten past the machine. Machine is not what sustained their career. So, I know he said some things about Ricky Smiley (laughs) and Tyler Perry. And, quite frankly, they were true, in my opinion. But, that's neither here nor there. If you haven't watched it, let me give Brother Shannon some uh some a shout out because that was a uh a real raw interview that he did with Cat Williams and if you get a chance check it out very interesting and if you like what you hear please like subscribe share the channel go, go check out Cat Williams interview with uh Shannon Sharp the ex Denver Bronco tight end All right, you guys, I'll see you in the next video.